Well, this is it. Creek mission starts now. You guys really tend to like these creek missions and that's exactly why we are starting today's video right next to I-35 West on the outskirts of Fort Worth, Texas. Oh, there goes a the car. How's it going? People are on their morning commute right now while we are about to drop into a juicy little, completely public urban creek. I've got two little rods with me, a big spinning and a little spinning, a pack of some worms, and uh, the ambition to go out there and crank on some fish. I'm looking forward to it. Let's drop down and see what we can catch. Wow, tons of glass. Just be careful, especially with thongs on, flippy floppies. Welcome to the creek. Oh, I feel right at home in this creek. Never fished this particular one that we're gonna be fishing today, just because I've never really, like, I don't know, I guess I, I just, I found it a few days ago, so we're gonna try it out. I can't believe I've missed this creek. It looks amazing, look at the water clarity. I'm not sure if you can pick that up via GoPro, but it's crystal clear. There's bait fish already, I'm seeing bluegill. Right above me is I-35 West. So most people wake up in the morning, get to the boat ramp, hear the birds chirping. I, on the other hand, wake up and uh, hear nothing but traffic, but I'm totally okay with it if it means we can catch some urban fish. So without further ado, let's get rigged up and start cranking them. Try and throw the bluegill set up around for a bit. Crank some gills. Oh, there they are. There they are. Oh yeah, first catch of the day. What is this? What the hell? Is that a, I think that's like a pumpkin seed. Good Lord, I have no idea what I just caught here. This is a mystery. Stop moving so they can take a look at you. It's so funny that fish this pretty will come out of like a very urban creek. But you get the point, first catch of the day. Pew. See ya. We are not discriminating on today's creek mission. Anything and everything will get caught. Bluegill, catfish, crappie, maybe even giant trolley if we see some. I doubt we'll see some they're spawning this time of year so they get a little finicky, but, but I'm down to catch anything. That's exactly why I went after that bluegill. I got little jigs, I got wacky worms tied on, some swim baits. I don't know, this is new waters. This is new territory for me, so I don't really know what we could uh, come across. Nice fish of the day. Let's see if, how many species we can catch and then maybe from there we'll go for the bigs. <coughs> Oh wow, that's actually not bad. I'm about to get yeeted on, get ready for this. Oh, oh, good one, good one. This thing is just pulling me, just dogging me. That might be one of those trevally we were talking about. Oh wait, nope, just kidding, it's another bluegill. That looks more like a pumpkin seed, doesn't it? That is a gorgeous fish. As soon as I pull this fish out, Alex is like, that looks more like a pumpkin seed. And I, I tend to agree with him. The funny thing is, is in these tiny little creeks that are secluded from other waterways, these fish will actually hybridize. So you'll get like bluegill that aren't even a species. Like they're just like a cross between a green sunfish, uh, a pumpkin seed, a bluegill, like they're just mutts almost. They're like, they're like the mutts of the fish world. All right, I'm gonna throw this guy back. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna see some weird fish today. Uh, I imagine some, some stuff that I probably can't even ID. That's pretty cool. If my boy Extreme Philly Fishing was here, he could tell me exactly what that was. But unfortunately, he's in Philadelphia and I am in the grand old state of Texas. Another one, just instant. This is crazy. What do we have here? Surely it's it's gotta be the same one, right? Yep, another green, or another pumpkin seed. It's like a long ear, yeah. I don't know, they're they're hybridizing in here. They're making babies. These blue guy here making babies. Oh wow, he's peeing. Get out of here, you little pee bluegill. Oh, hang on. What are those? Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, 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 wow. Hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. What the f is that? It just spooked off, that was huge. Where? They're shad. Dude, I saw something that was legitimately like, oh, a big shad, yeah, you're right. Where were, they, where were those shad come from? I saw something that was like this big, just chilling on a piece of gravel looking at, up at the curtain. I'm pretty sure it was a big largemouth. Like if that was largemouth, that was pretty damn big for this tiny little pool. He's not going anywhere. Let's see if I can see him again. Somebody forgot their jays down here. Big bummer. So they're like actually pretty clean too. How are you gonna lose one shoe? You gotta lose them both. All right, there's probably gonna be a fish in here. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm on, large mouth, large mouth, large mouth. That was so quick. That was so quick, it was like an instant. Yes. 
Is that a largemouth? No way, dude. That is a spotted bass. Are you kidding me? Do you know how unreal this is right now? A spotted bass in like seriously one of the most public, like dustiest, grimiest places I've fished in a long time. Like this is crazy. That is legitimately one of the prettiest spots I think I've ever caught in my entire life. Look at the lateral line on that dude. <laughs> this is cool. This is really sick. Whoa. <laughs> that really gets me going. Sometimes it's uh, it's not the size that matters. I know that's kind of a, a cliche joke, but it really isn't. Coming to a creek like this, where you're not supposed to catch fish and catching fish that belong in like primo ecosystems is just really weird. And that's why I advocate for you guys to get out there and, and venture into the unknown, even if the unknown is seemingly in plain sight. So that's cool. We've got two species that I did not think we were gonna catch today and we've got a whole lot of creek left. So let's keep traveling. That was so, that was seriously one of the coolest fish I've caught in a long time. Looks, oh wow, oh, oh wow, it's happening. It's happening. This creek just keeps getting better and better the farther we go down. That's a bass. There's one. Oh, it came off. It came off. That was a good bite. That was a really good bite. Another bass. I didn't really set the hook too hard on him. Probably should have given him some more beans. Oh, I'm fully on. No, no, no. I'm on the rocks. I'm going to have to break that off. Some good line. Jeez. That's some good line. Well, there goes that. This is always why I bring two rods on these creek fishes because if that was my only rod, I have probably like a mile hike back to the car through just the nastiness. So luckily we have the bluegill rod, which should suffice for bass. I'm gonna get rigged up. Right now I'm using these Stickies hooks. These are like a, uh, a size one thin ass hook, perfect for drop shots. And also we're doing today, which is a little bit of wacky worm fishing. So these are some good hooks. If you guys wanna pick some of these up, check the link below. Visit shopcarls.com, get some hooks, get some terminal gear, get some worms. Guggen Baits is also on Shop Carls too, so that is fresh. But that is the hook we're using. Very tiny, nice big gap, a little bit of wiggle room for that worm, and uh, it's getting the job done. Really sharp hooks too, hence the name, Stickies. We're gonna retire the bluegill setup and then use this for bass. I feel like that's a better move. There we go, good one. Good one, nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. Oh my gosh, that's not a bad fish. That is the one we're after. <laughs> dude, look at this guy. It's a spot, it's another big spot. Oh my gosh, dude, it's another good spot. Oh my gosh, he choked the stick bait. Just choked it. Oh my God, dude, these guys, look how hard this thing is pulling me right now. Like, they do not quit. He choked it. I let it sink all the way to the bottom. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Ah, stop it. No, this is a largemouth. This is a largie. Let's see. That's a largemouth. Yeah, it's not as prevalent. No, yeah, it's not as prevalent. Sweet, species number two of the day. We'll be getting the less awkward position there. His you guys tail. could. Yeah, his tail's all messed up. That's more or less the size we were after today. That's a pretty good one. It seems like the farther we're going down creek, the better it gets. Usually it's quite the opposite with me. Usually when I'm going to these creek missions, it just gets dustier, but. We're starting to see some more fish. I was focused in on a little group of suckers that were just kind of swimming around, which is a really cool creek fish to catch if you've got the right gear. And then I just felt my rod go off. I was like, yo, that's a pretty good bite. Sure enough, out comes species number three and the biggest fish of the day. I think we'll find a few more about the size or maybe if we're lucky, a little bit bigger. So that little stickies is in there. Look at that thing. That is why we use these hooks. And back our little friend goes. Every release, I just get pumped. It just means I'm getting one step closer to really figuring out this little mystery creek. Dope. <laughs> now I'm looking at it from this angle, it's really, there he is. There he is, another one. He got the business. What is this? Spot a largemouth, another largemouth. I wonder if that spot we caught was pretty uncommon. I feel like that, that first bass we caught, that being the spot, was not supposed to be in here. I mean, I just have never really caught spotted bass out of stuff like this. A little largey though. They a bit smaller, but equally as cool. In my opinion, at least. Nice fish. What do you think, Dad? Can I put him back? Can you take my picture? <laughs> oh, those were the good old days. The days in which I would take pictures with fish like that. <laughs> Don't hate on small fish, guys. Okay? They'll hurt my friend Flair's feeling. 
I know that's an old meme, but we can we can bring it back. There we go. I think we'd be wasting our time if we went any farther. I literally think it's all of one inch, but I'm gonna try it. No way, no way, no way. I'm so glad we walked all the way up. No way. That was instant, dude. That was like, that was almost too quick. I'm gonna spare you guys all the boring walking clips. So basically, we switched up our path. What is this? I don't think it's a largemouth. We switched up our direction. We were going down creek. It wasn't too productive down there. So then we went up a little bit, kind of near where we parked. And I was like, I turned out, cause like, should I keep going? Like we're literally in ankle deep water. And he's like, yeah, why not? Just keep going. So panned out, nice little largy. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. That was instant, first cast. We got him. Ready? Ooh, this is sick. And back up current he goes. Well, while we're here, I might as well take another cast into that little zone. That was so instant. It was like, as soon as I hit the water, he was like, boom, I want that. I need that. So while this uh, whole creek from basically where we started to here is like literally that deep and has no fish in it, right down there is a little pool, I'm assuming, and there's some bass. Another cast in there. Let's see what happens. Is it some kind of thick joke? Oh my God, did you see that? That's literally how a GT eats a lure. Like five of them come up to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he's off. Jesus! Pulled out of one's mouth, the other one grabs it. Another green sun, or another pumpkin seed. As you can see, I've switched my tactics and I'm going for a nice little panfish. At this point, I'm just having fun. This is seriously one of my favorite types of fishing out there. I know I say that in all my creek videos, but I seriously mean it. Like, this is just fun. Like, I don't care how big the fish are. I'm just in one of the coolest settings right now where fish don't belong. And I'm cranking bluegill, I'm cranking largemouth, spotted bass. Like, who would have thought today would have panned out like it did? Um, I'm gonna, oh God, I just got, that was a big one. Come on, come back for it. Ah, got him. <laughs> well, I think we're gonna end on this little guy right here. What do we have? Another pumpkin seed, wow. Yeah, I caught your cousin downstream a bit. He was way prettier than you though. Anyway, I think we're gonna end today's video on this little pumpkin seed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the creek videos. It seriously is one of my favorite things to do. I'd rather be out here fishing a tiny little creek than a pond loaded with three and four pounders. I know that sounds ridiculous, but seriously, it's what I grew up doing. So I get a genuine kick out of this kind of stuff, but I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna know what kind of gear we're using today, be sure to check the description. It'll all be linked there so you can click on it, scoop it, and come out here and crank some creek fish for your very own. But I'm signing out, peace out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. <laughs>